Hey everyone, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So in my original How to Flash D-Shot video, I talked about the Motolab Cyclone board specifically and how pin remapping was required for that to make it work. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that on the Motolab Cyclone, but it's gonna be applicable to any board. So if you, if you flash D-Shot and one of your motors isn't spinning or two of your motors aren't spinning, chances are that you need to remap the pins on that and that's that's kind of made simple now in the Betaflight 3.1 release and Josh put out a video about how to do the pin remapping that I kind of suggest that you watch I'll, I'll put a link up here in the corner for that but I, I suggest you watch that for background on this but I, I this will be enough to help you with the pin remapping so uh, I only have this is my only this is my butter quad and I spent like 12 hours tuning it and it flew great on Betaflight uh, 2.9 but it's the only thing that I have that's running the Motolab Cyclone so because I love you guys I'm gonna reflash this and I'm going to show you how to remap the pins on it so that so that you can make D-Shot work so let's get into it alright so the first thing we're gonna do is plug this in we're plugged in and the nice thing is we can actually go in here and this is a MoLab board and you can actually see that I can flash 3.3.1 in the configurator now because Betaflight well I think the release candidate was released but I'm, I'm pretty sure that 3.1 is out at this point so let's connect because this one I've already flashed it with 3.1 so we'll go to configuration here and this is kind of an important step so we're gonna we're gonna type we're gonna set it to D shot 600, and this is going to resource the pins as DMA or direct memory access. So then we go into so save it. It's gonna do its thing. Okay. So then we'll go into the CLI tab. We're going to type in resource list so on the resource list we can see that there's motor number two motor number three and motor number four are listed as DMA motor number one's missing that's the one that's not going to spin when you when you run D shot and the reason for that is because the the pin that's on the board, in this case A4, the board manufacturer selected A4 before D-Shot was a thing and for motor number one and DMA is not supported on that pin by the STFM F3 chip or whatever the full terminology for the chip is that's the same on all F3 boards. So every motor, manu every manufacturer of boards is going to use a different pin out. So how am I going to know which pin to remap it to. So you can Google some stuff and find out which pins support DMA, but I'm gonna show you a little little trick here on this board specifically. So I'm gonna go back to the configuration tab. We connect again. And so under configuration, I can make this a Y6. Now why would you say Y6? Well, I'm I'm betting on the fact that other motors like 5 and 6 because this has six motor outputs will support DMA and then when it's listed, I can actually go in there under the CLI and I can look at what's when I type in the lists Oops, list resource Helps of resource list, sorry. I always forget. So when I type in the resource list, hey look at that. I can see that motor number five and motor number six are DMA. Motor number one is still missing, of course, because it's not because it's not supported on DMA. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at I'm gonna say, okay, so that my pinout looks clean. I'm going to just say, okay, so motor number five is, so now I'm going to be using two, three, four, and five, and they'll all be next to each other. So I'm going to go up here to motor number five and see which one is motor number five. Which pin is that? So that is pin A3. 
01. So we'll remember that pin A01 is motor number five. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to switch motor number one and motor number five because motor five has the DMA that we want and motor number one does not. So we said that motor five is A01 and motor number one is A04. So I'm gonna type in resource motor one equals none oh whoops it's not equals resource motor one just none okay and then resource five none okay then I'm free to switch motor number five and I'm just I'm just gonna go back here and look at what motor number one was so motor one was a04 so I'll type in a04 so motor five is now going to be motor one and then I'm gonna set motor number one to A01, which is motor number five, so. Okay, and you have to clear them out before that you can reassign them, and, and Josh goes over all that in his video. So then I'm gonna type save. And now when we go back into the, the, the resource list, under CLI, I can say, resource list, Look at that. Motor number one is on channel number six. So the only one that's missing now is motor number five. So now we have one, two, three, and four. The only thing that's left to, now to do is go back to configuration tab here. Switch it back to, oh, gotta connect to it again. So we'll switch it, the configuration back to a quad X. Save and reboot. And now you're ready to roll with D-Shot on, well, now you gotta resolder, you resolder the pins to, from from motor number one to motor number five, and then you're you're ready to roll with uh, D-Shot just like uh, with the Motolab Cyclone or any other board that, that doesn't directly support DMA on the original motor output pins. That's how you, that's how you would remap them. So, to all my new subscribers, I thank you so much for finding the channel and finding what I do interesting. It, it really makes really makes it worth it. And everybody that watches to this point, uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. Or if you have any ideas for how I can make this better, please let me know. And please click that subscribe button that I'll put up there. And you know, if you want to check out some of my other stuff, I'll put some videos on this side. So, so that's it. Thanks for watching. You remember, you can get your FPV knowledge from a fork, but a spoon is better.